Hi, I'm Carl from Afton. In this video, I'll be giving you a closer look at the JBL Bar 2.1 Mark II soundbar. I'll be going over the design and inputs, features, sound quality, and I'll talk about why it's a great model to consider for your home theater, so stick around. And if you're watching this on YouTube and find our video helpful, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the great audio products we carry here at Afton. The previous generation of the Bar 2.1 was a really popular choice in the $300 to $350 price range, and the Mark II is shaping up to be the same. Size-wise, the soundbar is exactly the same at 38 inches wide, 2.8 inches high, and 3.4 inches deep. Same thing for the wireless sub at 8.9 inches wide, 14.6 inches high, and 8.9 inches deep. They did change the look of the soundbar a little, though now it has this bit of a ridge in the top. It doesn't change the sound quality, but it does look a little different. On the top of the soundbar, you're gonna find controls for power, volume, and source selection, and you also get a remote in the box with controls for the same things, as well as a mute button and a bass control button for the sub. You can also use your TV's remote to control the volume with HDMI CEC or by manually programming the TV remote to work with it. On the back are all your connections. This one has an optical audio input, a USB input for playing back audio from a thumb drive. There's an HDMI in and out. And for wireless connectivity, you get Bluetooth 4.2. Now, as far as the audio quality is concerned, the JBL Bar 2.1 Mark II sounds really good for this price point. Inside are four racetrack drivers and two one-inch tweeters, all powered by 250-watt amps, and the wireless six-and-a-half-inch sub is powered by a separate 200-watt amp. It all comes together for some really good sound. The bass is surprisingly powerful, considering it's pretty compact in the housing, and you get clear dialogue even without a dedicated center channel, along with respectably wide sound stage. So anything you listen to on this, whether that's movies, sports, gaming, or even your music, is gonna sound much better than it will coming out of your TV speakers. However, this is not a soundbar that offers a whole lot of customization. Your options include three different bass levels and setting the soundbar to smart mode, which enhances sound effects using preset equalizer settings, or turning smart mode off, which flattens out the equalizer curve. And that's pretty much it. So if you're someone who likes to have more flexibility, you may want to look at something like the Yamaha YAS209, but if you're someone who likes to keep it simple, this is a fantastic option. In the $300 to $350 range, you're gonna have a hard time finding a soundbar with better performance than this one. Plus, it's really easy to set up with the supplied HDMI cord. And don't forget, if you have any trouble, you can always give us a call for help. We offer free lifetime technical support on any products that you purchase from our store. If you have any questions on the JBL Bar 2.1 Mark II, our experts are available seven days a week, and we're always happy to help. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.